A couple of years ago, NASA engineers sought to solve one problem, vibrations on the Ares-1 launch system. Those vibrations could potentially endanger the team on board. Now the solution to that one problem has led to a technology that could save lives for people here on the ground. WHNT News 19's Daniela Perillon has the story. This is kind of the before status right now. The building's just sitting here quietly, not vibrating, and we're going to turn up our shakers. Standing on the 15th floor of the tallest structure on the Redstone Arsenal test site, the building begins to sway. This is about 2,000 pounds of weight and it's tied into the structure and with that hydraulic shaker we can actually wiggle the entire building back and forth. The demonstration simulates the movements of a building during an earthquake or severe winds. We simulate the, the, bow, the ground motion of the building and then we are able to knock that out with our different devices that we've designed. It's called fluid structure coupling technology and simply put, it keeps structures stable. What's in there is water right now and at the one end of this whole long tube is our compressible degree of freedom. NASA's latest development can dramatically reduce the impact of earthquakes or strong winds on buildings. It's just not going to respond. It just doesn't care. That could mean the difference between mild damage and disaster. It's still going to see the force response. Earthquakes going to go on, but what you're not going to get is this huge dynamic swaying that can that can occur, which that's what you got to kind of avoid. You get that going off, that's large displacements can lead lead to failures. Down the road, the technology could even be adapted for vehicles carrying large amounts of water or reduce the role of ships on tumultuous waters. In Huntsville, Daniela Perillon, WHNT News 19. Compared to similar technology implemented worldwide, developers say this system is far more versatile and 10 times more efficient, and they say they have only just begun tapping into all of the possibilities.